Reebok Bricks is one of the largest clay brick manufacturers between Cape Town and Port Elizabeth. Situated on the garden route in the small town of Great Brack, close to Mossel Bay and George. It has been operational for over 40 years with a production capacity of over 4 million bricks per month and employing approximately 120 people. The original brick firing operation was one of clamp kilns. With the recent company purchase in 2014, the board took a decision to invest in expanding and refining the clay brick preparation capability and installing recirculation vertical shaft brick kilns or RVSBK available from Road Design and Consulting. Extruded fresh green bricks are dried under cover and the remainder externally in hack lines. This method of drying provides some protection in the event of inclement weather. The system of building clamps is very energy intensive with respect to machinery, product and personnel required. This type of kiln must be covered whilst being built if the risk of rain is apparent. When firing clamps of this type they are always subject to the elements and therefore actual quality and stock levels are only apparent once the kiln is dehacked. General wastage levels are quite high with broken and underfired product. Additional handling and reuse of this waste therefore requires further energy usage. Okay, what drove you to this particular technology for your clay brick firing? Um, definitely the energy saving first of all, uh, second of all saving on waste and the saving on um, a on plant. The ability to fire um, a product, I have a product fired within 24 hours. The ability to fire several different products at once without changing your method of firing. And then the cleaner technology being um, able to burn with less fuel, uh, hence having less CO2 emissions. The RVSBK building accommodates 24 kilns, ancillary services and storage capability for continuous 24-hour operation. Dry green bricks are moved into the building to lessen the movement and operation of the forklifts on a continuous basis. Storage is available along both sides for double stacking of green product. A remote controlled overhead crane system is employed to lift the dry green bricks. A steel lifting pallet allows the forklift to load two pallets of green brick. This is then lifted from the ground floor onto the upper working floor. The safety cage prevents any loose bricks from falling during lifting. From this central position, personnel are able to load bricks into kilns on either side. Brick packing patterns are employed to allow the controlled flow of air within the kiln. External fuel in the form of small nuts is carefully measured into buckets and then taken to the kiln being loaded. The coal is specifically placed within the batch to enable even firing and will maintain the heat within the kiln. A stock brick batch is made up of four equally spaced opposed layers. Each batch typically has between 456 to 464 bricks. 14 of these batches are loaded into the kiln at any one time. Provision is made at the top of each batch to insert the support bars when the batch finally reaches the bottom of the kiln. Operational staff are clearly happier to be working in a factory environment. Kiln doors are closed and warm clean air is recirculated from the kiln under the doors. Various clay products can be fired in an RVSBK. Here a batch of maxi bricks is being loaded whereby another pattern is utilised specific to these bricks. The RVSBK operates on a counter current principle. Bricks are mechanically moved down the shaft whilst air is naturally drawn into the shaft at the bottom. This movement of air transfers heat from the fired brick to the firing zone where it is further heated and together with exhaust gases from the fuel transfers its heat energy to the dry green bricks stacked above. Exhaust gases are then removed via a fan and the exhaust duct system. Um, all our gases are um, directed to a centralized chimney system which makes adhering to local admission standards and testing much easier and also much cost efficient. A new RVSBK kiln management system has been developed to allow for more controlled thermocouple monitoring and individual firing characteristics of each kiln. The system is calibrated for each site and provides vital management feedback through internal graphing, temperature averages and specific time variances. If any set parameters are out of design specification, then operational managers are notified immediately via SMS or email. 
The system provides full 24 hour operation coverage and full back capability. A centrally positioned hydraulic system provides a means to lift the brick batches to enable a single batch unload of each kiln. Unloading of each batch of fired bricks is achieved by raising the trolley to the underside of the brick batch. The batches are then raised to release the support bars, which are then removed by hand. The bricks are lowered until the next support bar layer is apparent and bars are then reinserted. Bricks are lowered to the floor with the support bars holding the fired bricks above. When the bricks have cooled under the shaft, they are removed for unpacking and transportation to the dispatch area. Two separate fans are in operation for each kiln, one recirculation and one exhaust. There is almost a symbiotic relationship between the RVSBK and the steel building, each sharing a common goal. At the bottom of each kiln, fired product is hand sorted according to colour and quality, ready for dispatch. Generous thoroughfare has been provided for movement of forklifts and temporary storage of fired product. What has this quality done now for your, for your business? Just, uh, it improved my waste to under 1% on firing. Uh, it's improved our um, site waste to 0% at the moment. Wow. Um, it makes it easier for us to sort out the bricks at the bottom because there's hardly any sorting to be done and hardly any, any, any problems that can come in. Um, you know, that making the quality to the client much better. The gas ignition system for the RVSBK enables balanced fuel ignition upon startup. The system has enabled kilns to be fired from cold to producing NFX quality bricks in less than 48 hours. Gas burners are inserted in specially drilled access holes within the kiln structure. The gas will ignite the fuel consecutively within each batch and start the firing process. Tell me, is, is this the sound levels that we can expect in an installation like this? That is it. We, uh, the loudest thing here is a, is a Lindy forklift, which is 68 decibels. Well, I mean, that's, that's hardly anything really. Yeah. And all, this is a big change for you as a company it is, uh, and it's provided a new product line with the potential to take other product through the kilns. Definitely, we can uh, diversify our product and we can uh, enter the market more um, uh, aggressively. You must be very excited for the future of Reebok Bricks. Well, I'm excited for Reebok Bricks and I'm excited, you know, being uh, on the roof for a change. Fantastic. From an energy efficient clay brick project point of view, it's both really exciting and encouraging to see the next VSPK in operation at Reebok Bricks. Row Design has excelled in delivering the next version of the VSPK, the RVSPK, which can perform or even outperform some of the other kilns that are available internationally. Um, Reebok Bricks, we wish them well going forward with the new investment in, in the kiln and I'm sure that they're going to make a success story of it. The 24 RVSBK installation at Reebok Bricks will produce several clay fired products including stock brick, aesthetic face brick, pavers and maxi brick variations. The installation has the capacity to fire any number of bricks from 150,000 to in excess of 4 million per month. Kilns may be brought online to match market demand without any interference with currently firing kilns. A truly bespoke and flexible firing solution for all their clay firing requirements.